OC panel too. Uh, in two years ago, in 2013, we introduced the first generation OC panel. And the OC panel is the overclocking gadget that is uh, connected to your motherboards to overclock your motherboards. It works in two modes. External, uh, extreme mode, where it works as a handheld gadget, or uh, you can work it as a normal mode. Normal mode is you can put it in your front chases and monitor your computers. And uh, in this generation, we did some upgrades to the OC panel. So the first thing is the LED lights. Uh, in the first generation, it was only printing. Uh, the cover was printed. Uh, but this generation, we have LED on. Uh, the reason is not only just to look beautiful, but also uh, to some overclockers. Uh, it shows them whether their system crashes or not. So it's kind of useful for them. And also, uh, looking closely at the specifications, on the top left corner, we have uh, designed to have the retry and save boot button uh, on the OC panel. Uh, as you know, like the Red Page 5 Extreme and the Maximus 8 Extreme, these two Extreme motherboards will have save boot and retry buttons on the motherboard. But what about Hero, Ranger, and G? Um, these motherboards doesn't have the safe boot and retry. But when you connect it to OC Panel 2, uh, they will have these two functions enabled. So we believe there will be more people who are not using the to overclock, they will be buying the OC Panel 2. And also, for the pin headers, uh, it was four uh, pin headers running at full speed in the first generation. Uh, this, in this generation, two of them were running at a PWM, where you can uh, define the duty cycle of the fan. And uh, in the earlier slides, I talked about the new power solutions uh, in, a, in this generation. On the extreme, we will have two PWM controllers. As Albert mentioned earlier in his, in his section, uh, Intel removed the FIVR, the fully integrated voltage regulator from this generation. So uh, we will have eight phases for the V core and four phases for the VGT. And we have two. Uh, PW controllers, one dedicated for the V core, the other dedicated for the VGT. And this will give the overclockers more precise voltage tuning. And also for the 10K black metallic capacitors, I think a lot of you are probably familiar with it because every ROG motherboard has it. So uh, the, the black metallic capacitor will give you uh, higher temperature endurance and longer lifespan. Also on the extreme, uh, we are changing the MOSFET and the choke. Uh, for the MOSFET, we are using the OptiMOS MOSFET from Infinia. And the characteristics of this MOSFET is that it's, uh, it has low RDS, the resistance from drain to source of the MOSFET. And also it has high, uh, uh, allows a high maximum current in the drain, uh, a maximum of 50 amps. And also for microfiber alloy chokes, it was first used in the Red Page 5 Extreme in the X99 platform. And now we migrate this uh, customized choke in our mainstream uh, chipset as well. So uh, the next feature is the RAM cache, uh, the ROG RAM cache. So two years ago in 2013, we introduced the first generation RAM disk. So I think a lot of you probably know what a RAM disk does. RAM disk is just to create a virtual drive inside the memory because uh, memory runs really fast, right? Uh, memory re re read and write much faster than hard drive. Um, uh, but but the, the limitation with the RAM disk is that uh, it only speeds up the files you put in the RAM disk. It doesn't speed up the files that are not in the RAM disk. For, uh, uh, what I mean is, it doesn't speed up your entire hard drive. So our software engineer worked really hard, and then they came up with this design called the RAM cache. RAM cache uh, uses your memory as a cache and speeds up your your entire hard drive. Now I'm going to demo the RAM cache. The man I see to promo is easy for me to demo.
buy a brand new model, uh, we basically use B3.1 support. And uh, I, I have used B3.1 in your here. And uh, now I'm going to demo if I copy a uh, 5.8 gigabyte data to our traditional hard drive. And, and later we can measure uh, how long we will make that. Ready? Start. So, uh, you, you can see the text manager here and then uh, the disk one information. And you can see the uh, active time almost 100%. And uh, in the meantime, uh, I want to uh, explain the, the, the red cache. In this case, we, we can see the, the, in this case, uh, when the system writes data to the disk, normally in Windows behavior, uh, no matter the what size the, 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 the system will be writing to the disk, uh, Windows behavior will divide into 64 gigabyte each. When the data complete to write, and the disk will respond to the information to the disk to export the data. Data write of this. So you, you can see the active active time here. Almost 100 percent That means your, your hard drive is working very hard. And later I, I want to tell you yes. Yeah. Uh, 65 seconds. 60. 65 seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, let me explain uh, the direct cache technology first. And I can tell you guys later. Uh, now we, we have a new feature called Direct Cache. And uh, the difference with, with the, the origin one, uh, we have, you can util, utilize your free Direct as Direct buffer. If you want to send a 6 gigabyte data right to the disk, we can uh, write to this and the Direct simultaneously. When, when the disk get 1 gigabyte, uh, as, as uh, so we, we know the different speed is faster than this. So the the the, the DRAM may already have four gigabytes set in DRAM. So the next time DRAM can get the data. Uh, this can get the data from DRAM directly. And the the, the this no need to respond the information to to the system. So so we, with this with this visual we, we can we can see the, the different with, with the origin one. We can see the direct cache AP here. We can choose which one of these you want to cache. And uh, this is a free DM we, we want to utilize. Just click the start. Okay. Let's do the copy again. Now, 29 seconds. So you, you can see the uh, the uh, with direct cache we have almost 50 percent time saving. So and uh, you can see the text measure here. 